Ground gas closeout is complete. Falcon 9's in startup. Stage 2 press for flight. Go for launch. Stage one coming up to startup pressures. Noise 15 seconds. Lock and I to configure for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Telemetry nominal. Yeah, we've had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 vehicle as it carries SHAIL-2 uh, communication satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Now we've cleared the towers and we are ascending. The next major milestone as we come up is Max-Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience as it goes through the thicker parts of the atmosphere. As we get higher, the density of the atmosphere decreases and there's less and less load on the vehicle. You should hear the call out for that soon. Vehicle has passed through maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've had max Q, so again, decreasing pressure on the vehicle as we continue to ascend through the thinner parts of the upper atmosphere. Now we're coming up on a sequence here where a few events show. will happen in very short succession. Those events are MECO, stage separation, and then SES 1. Those stand for MECO, main engine cutoff stage separation, and then SES, which is second engine start number one, the first of the two planned burns today. And those are, Miko is when we shut off the nine Merlin engines of the first stage, and then once we've shut those down, we separate the two stages, and then once the stages are separated, the second stage engine, the Merlin vacuum engine, is exposed to space and it will begin burning. That will happen over the span of about 10 seconds, starting about 20 seconds or so from now. Again, main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start. We go with stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> and back ignition. And we have had second engine start as the orange glow appears to brighten up the Merlin vacuum engine in the center of your screen. Again, transitioning the responsibilities from the first stage to the second stage. We'll follow both of those vehicles in parallel as we continue this webcast. But for now, the next major milestone is on the second stage, and that is when we deploy the fairings that encapsulate the payload. So s 2 is protected from the aerodynamics of ascent by that fairing. Once we're out in space, the air is not thick. We do not need it anymore, so we drop it to reduce our total mass. That fairing deployment will occur about 10 seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And with the fairings deployment that you saw on your screen, we now have s 2 exposed to that beautiful vacuum of space. 
Now, second stage is going to go quiet here for a few minutes. Remember, you can see the orange on your screen. MVAC is still burning, and this is the first of the two planned burns for second stage. This burn will be multi-minute, and we'll return to it in a bit. We'll shift our focuses back to the left of your screen now, where the secondary mission, the landing of that first stage, is targeting the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, just like second stage, that first stage is going to conduct two burns in its lifetime. And those two burns, we've already seen the first one. Or I'm sorry, we are about to see the first one in re-entry, and then we will see the landing burn. Now, that re-entry burn is, is self-described. It's right before we re-enter the atmosphere. We want to slow down our velocity as much as possible. We're traveling very, very quickly. You can see on your screen, we're going 2,300 meters per second or so. It's an extremely fast velocity. We want to reduce that before we actually re-enter the thickness of the atmosphere again. So that's what the re-entry burn is doing, and that will occur about a minute and a half or so from now. Stage two is following a nominal trajectory. If you're just tuning in, we've had successful ascents of the two stages. They have separated. Second stage is continuing on with S Hail Sat 2. First stage is coming back. We're about a minute away from that re entry burn to slow us down. That re entry burn itself will last for about 20 seconds, reducing our velocity before we get into the density of the upper atmosphere. few seconds away now. It's interesting to note, as you can see on the left side, we are actually engines facing the incoming air. So we're going engine first, and that's why the burn does slow us down. As the vehicle burns its engines, that will push us back up. And because we're going engine first, that will slow us down and decelerate the vehicle. Those quick puffs you're seeing are cold gas thrusters that are there to make minor attitude or position corrections on the vehicle. Stage one entry startup. And that footage is being sent down from onboard cameras in space. So you can see through the choppiness there that the entry burn has started. Remember, 20 second burn in total for the reentry. Stage one entry burn shut down. And the entry burn has concluded. As you can see, the exhaust there on the left side. Now we're going to go into the second of the two planned burns, the landing burn soon. But it's worth noting that we'll have a very short sequence here as well. While the landing burn is occurring, second stage is going to conclude its first of two burns. So you'll see the landing burn start on the left side of your screen. And then you'll see the second stage stop firing on the right side of your screen. And then about 20 seconds after, you'll see the left stage hopefully come down with zero velocity on the surface of the drone ship. Landing burn start. Seco number one, landing bird conclusion. And we're about 30 seconds out again. Landing burn, Seco one, one and then landing conclusion. That feed is intermittent. If it does come back, it Stage will show up in PIP on guidance. screen. Stage two, FTS is saved. Landing bird startup. And there was Seco. You caught it at the very end there. Don't know exactly what's happening with the landing, but we'll report back for that as soon as we have okay, information. But you saw that blip there stage at the one, end where deploy. Seco one, second engine cutoff number one, did occur, where the second stage stopped firing. We're going to check some data and tune in on first stage here in a second. Orbital insertion. All right, landing shut down. And there it is. The first stage has landed on the drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Atlantic Ocean for another recovery and a potential third refurbished flight of this same booster. 
So with good success of that secondary mission, we'll transition back to the primary mission here, which is the delivery of S-Hail-2 to geostationary transfer orbit. Now what we're going to do here is what we call a coast phase. It's going to last for about 15 minutes. Second stage has burned its first of two, and now it's going to coast for a bit before it's aligned properly to execute its second burn. So we're going to coast for about 15 minutes now. We'll turn to you with the deployment of the S-Hail-2 satellite when we return. Second engine start. And we've had second engine start number two as that Merlin vacuum engine relights, which is not an easy feat to do out in space, to relight a vacuum engine like that. Now, this burn will last for a little bit under a minute in total. So we're going to burn through about T plus 27 minutes and a half or so, at which point we'll reach Seco 2, or second engine cutoff number two. Cut off. And second stage has concluded its second and final burn for that second stage as it delivers S Hail 2 to geostationary transfer orbit. Now, what's going to happen here is we're going to coast for another on four on or five minutes or so, insertion. just like we coasted between first and second. We're going to coast between now and the actual deployment of the payload in its correct trajectory. So we're in a good orbit for now. Stage 2 and S Hail 2 are still mated. We're going to coast for about four minutes here, and then we'll deploy the satellite. So here we go at the very end, the payload deployment coming up about 20 seconds from now. Separation confirmed. And there it is, a beautiful sight as S Hail 2 floats away again also to provide communications from geostationary orbits. Today was a wonderful day. Uh, we'd like to extend a great thanks to our customer, S Hailsat, for entrusting us with today's mission. And surprisingly, SpaceX's first mission ever to be attempted in the entire month of November for the yeah. entire history of the company. Really exciting.